Hi, this video is regarding the Microsoft Power Automate community thread. So the user asking here is how to extract SharePoint multi-select choice field text values. Okay, and I have a category column. This is a multi-select column. As you can see here, one of the values star O slash S and then football and rugby. Okay, so the couple of things we need to look here is, one is uh, my first struggle is how to correctly set up a condition that states if business registration value is equal to us, then the remainder email is triggered. The other one is my second is what property to feed into the body of my email in terms of the multi-choice statement, okay? And again, it says about how can you do some more conditions, um, you know, for this multi-choice field. Okay, so what I did here is um, I'm using a manual trigger and then um, the standard get items SharePoint connector and map the column called categories so that's my column categories which is the multi-select column okay okay let's run this flow and see what results we are going to get so there are two records there okay flow ran successfully you can see under the apply to each there are two records because it's a multi-select field you can see you know the value it's going to be in an array value so this is an array it says the data type and the id and the value okay that's the first one which i selected you can see here that's the first value the second one is football rugby click next so you can see here that's a football and rugby so how can we get these values then football rugby as in one text so that's the first attempt we need to do here so for that i'm going to use a select so under the select again uh, you know the selection of the categories which is the multi-select column click on this t sign see that and then under the expression we need to use item brackets question mark two square bracket two single quotes inside the two single quotes type value okay because i'm after only the value not the id and the audit id i'm just i'm just interested in the value only here here it is so run the flow and have a look Right, okay, so we saw earlier this compose. So that's the value I'm after. See, that's the expression I used in the below step. So here, see, that's, so we can extract just that value. Again, click on the next. Here it is. See that? So under the body, we can get football, comma, rugby. Okay, the next what i need is i need to get i need to remove that array part because it's an array still so i'm going to use a join here so under the data operations you can see join and under under the join i'm going to say the output of the select join with a character so we need to have comma that means if it's if you have a set of array values we can put a separator values there uh, using comma or any character you can put here so that means the result is going to be something like this see we, we can so here uh, there is no comma here because it's only one value here if i click next say i got football comma rugby there okay so the next 
it's quite easy what we could do now is go to the control and go to the if condition and say the output of the join so that's the output of the join um, contains that's what we can use here contains uh, those values so the first value is if I want to check if this value star o slash s all I need to type is star o slash s and let's run the flow now and see how it evaluates okay so that should be true now for the first case there are two records there remember so the second one is false okay now another question is asked here is how can i map that in the uh, you know the send email step so for that i'm going to just add a compose here um, because i don't want to send an email now at this stage so all i'm going to show here is how can how can we get the result here so all you need is map that output here that's it the join output you know so going back here and run the test again See, you can see here under the combos that's the value has been mapped so it's a similar principle you can map the same value under your sent email step okay now the second one I have got football rugby so what happens if I want to check whether it's football or rugby so all you need to do here is uh, you could extend this again here something like football then add a row again same output of the join same value again then contains um, uh, rugby okay run that so this is an and operation that that means user has selected both values okay um, football and rugby So the first one we know the first value is uh, the star o slash s so that means the if condition is false that's true because that's not football and rugby the second one see that's true now so under the combos you can see football comma rugby there now edit you can make it as an or condition this same principle also here so you could put football or uh, you know there is some other value you can put um, you know I'm going to put cricket here so let's see how that's going to evaluate that okay so that's applied to each if condition the first one is false then the second one that's yeah, true because that contains football hit it and I'm going to put football cricket this one I'm going to put star or slash s so that means you know we got two values here so this is an or condition so that means it should evaluate both loop as true now okay let's look the first one here it is that's true the combos contain star or or slash s click next that's again true because that contains football and user selected football and rugby also there so that's why it because it got two values remember those two values yeah so the technique you need to do here is use the select then the join with the delimiter but remember in the select we got the expression uh, you know called uh, yeah that once you edit again that expression will disappear so the expression I'll type it again and show you item two two brackets question mark two square brackets two single quotes value that's what you need to do here okay and then uh, use that output with the delimiter comma or whatever you want hyphen or whatever it is yeah and then extend your conditions with and or operator um, using the contains you can't unfortunately you can't use equal here uh, because it's an array so you need to use contains okay hope this is useful thank you for watching